everyone, it's your girl Dom, aka Dinzy, and today I'll be taking you through a tour of my desk setup. I'll be putting some links in the description on where to get most of these items, but unfortunately some of them are out of stock. Without further ado though, let's get started. Firstly, let's start with the desk itself. This is a standing desk from Omnidesk with a white desktop and black frame. If you're asking me if it's worth the $800, d don't ask me that. Hanging below the desk is my gaming PC, which has an RTX 2060 Super and a Ryzen 7 3700X. It's a great machine, and honestly, I probably couldn't live without it. For when I'm sitting down, which is most times, I use a Cougar Armor 1 EVA. This is a great chair for those of us on the shorter and smaller side. For context, I'm about 5'5", five five and I only just fill it out. And the lumbar support and neck cushions are super comfortable. The armrests do take a bit of getting used to, though. My keyboard is the Keychron K6, and I'll most likely be going into it in another video in more detail as I've customized it pretty deeply. My mouse though is the Razer Viper Ultimate. This is a terrific lightweight mouse that I recently acquired that's great for FPS games like Valorant, which I've been addicted to as of late. We got it, boys! It comes with a charging base that has an RGB underglow that goes super well with the underglow from my Sound Blaster X Katana soundbar. I use this when I'm not on my headphones. Oh, speaking of which, I have a hanger here on the side that holds my two headphones, the Razer Kraken Kitty Edition and the Audio-Technica M50X. I use both pretty interchangeably, but the M50X is more used for audio editing, while the Kraken is used for gaming. It has crazy low latency that I'm happy to play with. On the side here is my new XP Pen AC19 shortcut remote. You'll mostly see people with drawing tablets use these, but it's a great nifty little wireless macro pad that you can use for video editing, audio editing, etc. Which is a godsend to have right next to my keyboard instead of reaching for my Elgato Stream Deck, which I also use. Underneath right next to my Stream Deck is my Solid State Logic SSL2 interface, which I spray painted sky blue to match my keyboard. It's got great preamps and I highly recommend it for anyone getting into XLR audio. To pair with it, I've got a PreSonus PD-17 microphone that I use for Twitch streams, and in fact, you're hearing it right now. I do own a Neumann TLM-102 that I use for voice acting, but the PD-70 is a great little microphone for $130. In my opinion, it heavily rivals the Shure SM7B that a lot of streamers tend to go for. Above here on my monitor stand that I got from Kmart is the Korg Nano Control 2. It's a MIDI controller that I use to control the program, voice meter, like it's an actual mixer, and it works like a charm. It's a much better combo for me than trying to pick up a Go XLR. Oh, quickly, I'll just touch upon the little miscellaneous things on my desk. We have a small little plastic plant with my D&D dice littered right next to it. These are a great steampunk theme that I just had to get. Right next to my little light over there from Daiso is my Funko Pop of Sora from Kingdom Hearts. And I think I'm going to make it a tradition to swap out who sits on my desk from time to time, as I do have a few Funkos that I love. All equally, of course. Now onto my monitors that I have in a vertical configuration. Currently, I'm rocking an LG Ultrawide 29-inch monitor on the top and a Samsung 27-inch monitor on the bottom. I used to have them swapped around, but I preferred the higher screen real estate for playing games, so I decided to keep them like this. My webcam here is the Logitech Stream Cam, and at first I was a little apprehensive about it, but overall it serves me really well, and the quality is good enough for me to the point where I don't feel like I have to keep my DSLR camera as a webcam slave. On the sides here are my two lights, an Elgato key light and an Aperture AL F7. These are both super great and they light my chair green screen really well whilst I'm streaming. On the desk to help keep things organized, I have a clamped power bar that sports three power outlets I bought bundled in with the desk. Other than that though, that's all I have for today's video. Well, thank you guys so much for watching uh, this setup tour video. Um, I know this is kind of like a weird thing uh, with my channel, how I barely have any videos, but I just wanted to rebrand, uh, do something new, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you liked it, be sure to go ahead and follow me on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Denzia. Go ahead and stream there. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty infrequently, but uh, yeah, subscribe to this channel for more stuff, and uh, I hope to see you guys later. Bye-bye.